I retired from my career before we left Chicago, about a year before, and then we moved here. I just remember saying to Scott, well, we should do something, because a lot of it stemmed from having a special needs child. Well, we, we were at church uh, one day, and they, they were talking about kids that are uh, in the system, uh, especially the ones with special needs and don't have much of a chance of, uh, of getting with a family. I didn't really know how it worked. I didn't know if it was through the state or if there were, but I ended up finding out through my research that it was, you know, you could go through the state or you could, there were different agencies. Um, and so Damar was one of a few that I had called. Um, they were the first one to call me back and I really connected with her and liked the, you know, what she had to say about um, Damar and how, what they did and what the training was like. And that is kind of what ultimately led, I think, to us choosing to do therapeutic foster care through Damar. Both Brenda and I grew up in very loving, happy homes. Uh, both parents, no, not divorced, no abuse. We went to church. We did all the things that you know a normal family does in, in our eyes. And then when we hear stories about what some of these kids have gone through, uh, it's, it'll, it'll tear you apart. And we just thought we could bring a child in and show him what a loving family is. You know, a family that does things together, that talks to each other, and and you know goes out together. Well, our first placement, um, we called JJ, and he came to us in December of 2011, and we had, I think we had just become licensed. We were fortunate through Damar Foster Care Services. Um, this little boy happened to be living there at their residential facility just temporarily while they were trying to find a home for him. But because he lived at Damar, we were able to go um, on a couple of different evenings and just meet him and get to interact with him. Our family bonded with him really quickly, and especially our, our children, our younger son, Tommy, um, just he treated him like he was his own little brother. JJ was with us for about 18 months. The good thing was we knew for a long time that he was going to be leaving, so it gave us time to transition as a family and to sort of accept the fact that he was going to be leaving. So we were going to drop him off at the airport, the boy, my boys and myself, and I think she had a real early flight, so we dropped him off at about 4 in the morning. And for probably the first 10 minutes of driving away from the airport, my son could not stop crying. So it was probably one of the hardest things I've ever, ever done, you know, put my kid through this. So he had just finally stopped crying, and I see this billboard, and I wanted to distract him, and I said, oh, Tommy, let's, you know, let's, when we get home, we'll buy a lottery ticket. You know, what are we going to do with $300 million? And he looked at me and said, maybe we can give the money to JJ's aunt and get him back. Um, I actually flew him out to Arizona and stayed for a few days to get him settled in with his family. And, and that, was, that was really hard for me as I, as I left him there because um, he ran to the door and he had his hands on the door and his, and his face up against the door and I was leaving and I didn't know I didn't know if he understood why I was leaving him. I think the reason that we, every time we get a phone call, we usually say yes to whatever the placement is, um, is ultimately the reason that we started doing this is that we want to help children and we want to provide a, a, a family environment and home for as many children as, as we're gifted to, you know, get the opportunity for. So. So I, I've learned a different part of being a father, uh, and it's 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 been wonderful. And, you know, it's one of my best things in the world is being a, a father and a husband. I've become I think I've become a better father because of these kids. Um, but for us, it is absolutely worth it, and um, we, you know, I don't know how long we'll do it, but I, I can't see us not doing it. Hopefully, we can leave the planet a little better than we found it, and even if it's just one child that we impacted for one year, that's a child that might not have you know, had that experience. I mean, I, I'm never gonna, you know, probably dig a well in Africa or, or go on a great exotic mission trip, but for, for me, I guess my mission was, you know, here in my home and, and doing what I can.